Hi friends, in this video you will learn about Excel comment and how we can work with them better and faster. How can we customize the comment background and how we can use icons as our comments. How to write notes in Excel comments. So let's start. So in this data set here, I have few comments. You can identify them with this red icon on the top right hand side of the cell. Now to insert a comment using the shortcut key, all you have to do is press Shift F2. So remember, I have to edit the cell content and Shift plus I have to edit or insert the comments. And then all you have to do is start typing. And if you want to edit this, press Shift plus F2 and continue typing. Or to edit the existing content. Now you can also insert comments from the menu. Just go to the review tab and click on new comment. You can jump between comments by clicking on previous or clicking on next. You can also insert a comment by right mouse clicking and selecting insert comment option. To quickly show all the comments that you have on this sheet, you can go to the review tab and select show all comments. So if I click it again, it hides all comment. If I am on a specific cell and I just want to show that comment, I can select this first one which is show or hide. Show or hide this one specific comment. If you want to print your comments. You have two different options. You can print them in this way or you can print them at the bottom of your sheet. To define which method you want, go to page layout under sheet options or under page setup. Click on this little arrow here to see all the options. Under sheet here you can choose how you want the comments to be printed. So if you select as displayed on sheet, they are going to get printed if they are visible like this. So if I go to print preview, I can see only this comment will be printed because only this one is visible. Now instead of this, if I select print them at the end of the sheet, go to print preview from here. I am just going to scroll down. We can see all the comments are printed separately here. If you want to copy a specific comment and paste it 
to another place. All you have to do is control plus C that cell, then go to the other cell and different cells where you want that comment pasted. Right mouse click, go to paste special and select comments from here. Now notice when you do that, the cell content is not impacted. The only thing that's copied and pasted is the comment. You have some options to customize the comments. So once you show it, just right mouse click and format comment or use the shortcut key control plus one to format the comment. You can change its background color by selecting a different color from here and the font type if I like. So if I press OK, I get this result. Now you also have the capability to add background images to your comments. So let's say I wanted to create something fancy and I want to have a specific icon as my background image. What I am going to do first is to modify the icon slightly and save it separately as a picture. So I can bring it into the command here. I am going to do that with PowerPoint. So I have PowerPoint open right here. I am going to go to insert icons. Let's go with this one. Let's also take this one and click on insert. This icon right here is an icon that I am going to use as a background icon. And I am going to use this one as the comment itself. So let's say I agree with my colleague that anytime they see this comment in my workbook, it means that they need to add to the task list. Now all I have to do is save this as a picture, but first you can see it has a lot of white spaces in the background. So I am just going to crop that out and I am going to save this as a picture. So right mouse click, save as picture. Instead of vector graphic, I am going to select PNG and let's call this screen comment. Okay, so while I am here, let's also save this one as a picture. I will just leave that as is and let's change this to PNG as well. So now I am going to go back to Excel. Let's activate the command. Click on the border of the command to select the entire command and press Ctrl plus 1 to format it. Now under color and lines, just the same place where we change the color. We can also go 
to fill effects and we can select a picture. So I am going to bring in the picture I just saved. Click on insert, log picture and aspect ratio and click on ok. Now my text is being covered by that dark border. So I can format that as well. So let's just go back and click on Ctrl plus 1. Under margins let's go with 0.25 for all of them. So this brings in the text more in the middle. So you can adjust that as you see fit. Now if you want to apply this command to different cells, again all you have to do is Ctrl plus C and click on different cells. Right mouse click, paste special and just select comments. So I am going to click on show all comments and click on it again show all comments and click on it again and they are hidden. Now we also brought in that notepad symbol. So let's say to this cell, I am going to bring in that symbol, I am going to right mouse click, click on the border of the command, press Ctrl plus 1. Go to colors and lines, fill options, picture, bring in the picture, log expect ratio say ok and remove the border from this ok so we can adjust the size as we see fit and then we can copy and paste this just like we did before I hope you will enjoy this video. That is all about Excel command and Excel notes. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel that is appreciation from your side. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.